this is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So Floyd Mayweather goes to Japan and gets a first round knockout against kickboxer Japanese sensation Nasakawa in an exhibition match. Floyd Mayweather, who said before the fight, he's just coming to have some fun, a three round exhibition. He was having a lot of fun walking into the ring, as you guys see in these images that I'm playing. Floyd Mayweather, he came into the ring with his son rapping. He gets in the ring, they face off, and Floyd Mayweather is completely playing around with Nasakawa. He's just basically like throwing his hands around, smiling at Nasakawa. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Floyd Mayweather, he throws the quickest, stiffest lead right hand. And it knocked Nasakawa off balance. And from that point on, all of a sudden, Floyd Mayweather, he got serious. He started throwing quick combinations. He started to come in with that high guard, which means he wanted to go ahead and end it as quick as possible, which is exactly what he did. He knocked him down a couple of times and then he ended it with a left hook. And this is when Nasakua's team, they threw in the towel. Now, even though guys, this was just an exhibition, this wasn't a real fight. This is not going on either fighter's record. Just looking at Floyd Mayweather's reflexes and his accuracy, there's no doubt about it, he is still pretty fresh for 41. Once again, I'm not comparing him to Nasakawa. I'm comparing Floyd Mayweather to Floyd Mayweather being in shape. One of the interesting things about this exhibition is clearly this was a smaller opponent. Nasakawa, he was smaller than Floyd Mayweather. The funny thing is Floyd Mayweather for the past, what, 10 years, He's been fighting opponents 10 to 20 pounds bigger than himself. The majority of his opponents have been much bigger than him, from Canelo Alvarez to Baldemir to Oscar De La Hoya to Marcos Maidana. And it's just interesting when you see Floyd Mayweather for the first time get to fight a guy smaller than him, he's always David going up against Goliath. But this time he was more of Goliath going up against David. It makes you wonder... With Floyd Mayweather easily knocking out a guy smaller than him like that, it makes you wonder how different a Floyd Mayweather versus Canelo Alvarez fight would have been if Floyd was in his natural weight class or if it was the other way around where Canelo Alvarez was coming up in weight fighting against Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people don't know this, but when Floyd Mayweather was a lightweight and a junior lightweight, he was knocking out his opponents left and right. I remember talking to one of uh, Floyd Mayweather's sparring partners. I forget his name, and I apologize, but he's a professional fighter, and he had a little bit of a buzz around him. He was an Italian fighter, and he fought on ESPN a lot when um, ESPN was the regular Friday night fights. Uh, anyway, he said that he was in Floyd Mayweather's training camp when Floyd was at 135. He said, matter of fact, he said this on my radio show. I had him in the studio, and he said on the show, I was the only guy to survive Floyd Mayweather's training camp. I was the only sparring partner. He said Floyd Mayweather had knocked out and sent all of his sparring partners home. He said he was the only fighter or the, uh, or the sparring partner to survive the training camp without getting sent home. And he was really proud of that. So I just say all of that to say this explains why Floyd Mayweather obviously once he, you know, was in his late 30s and he moved up five weight classes, he's obviously not going to be stopping opponents like he did when he was in his natural weight class. If he was in a Gennady Golovkin situation where Golovkin stayed at middleweight and never moved up in weight, we would be seeing Floyd Mayweather knock out fighters left and right is my point. So Floyd Mayweather had some fun traveling to Japan to pick up a nice little check. I'm sure it was a real good check that he got. He said before the fight that he's retired and he's not coming back. But you know how Floyd gets down. Floyd always says that. I'm sure uh, Floyd Mayweather will be announcing 
another comeback after Manny Pacquiao destroys Adrian Broner, which I believe he will. We'll see what happens after that fight. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Love that.